Hello guys, in this video I want to talk about introduction to topology and I'm going to introduce the basic concept and I will give you the overall picture of topology and why do we need to study topology. Okay, so let's start with why do we need topology? And let's, uh, for example, take a sphere and also we'll take a donut or another like torus. And then I'm going to ask a simple questions. Are they the same or not? And the answer like is no. Why not? Because you can see that sphere, there is no hole. There's just, you can think one two dimensional hole, which uh, because this is like S2 and sphere is just a boundary of the sphere. So sphere is bound emptiness inside. And this emptiness like is two dimensional. But for the torus, it, so you can see it always bounds like emptiness inside, which is bounded by, uh, let's say, like this section. But also we have a hole over here. So topologically speaking, these two surfaces are different. But I was able to distinguish the surfaces because I was just looking at them. So what topology do? Topology develop tools that allow us to dis distinguish these two surfaces. For example, one of such tools are called algebraic topology. When we use algebraic structure to distinguish uh, the two surfaces are not the same. And one of the such uh, abstract object is called fundamental group. And in my future video, I'm going to show that fundamental group of S2 is trivial, or in other words, equals to zero. But fundamental uh, group of the torus or in other words, we indicate this by T2, is not trivial and equal, equal to uh, direct, equal to Cartesian product of Z2. And we can see since fundamental groups are different, that means that these two surfaces are different. And let me just tell you what the fundamental group is. So fundamental group is basically saying that let's take some any point in my space, in other forms of my surface, and I will draw a loop. Then fundamental group of S2 is trivial because you can see for any loop that you take, you always can shrink this loop to a point. So you take a loop and you shrink and you get a point. And this is true for any point in the sphere and for any loop. But here on the torus, you can see that if I will take, for example, like this loop, then I can shrink this loop uh, to, to a dot, to a point. But if I'm going to take this loop, it doesn't matter how I'm going to move this uh, loop around the torus, I will never be able to shrink this point to a dot. And you also can see that I have two loops such kind. I have this loop, or I have loops that goes around uh, around this empty space, around this circle. And that's why I have Z2, because one Z generated by this loop, and another G generated by this loop. So this type of surface are really difficult, and let me show what path leads uh, us to be able uh, to use these tools and what do we need to study in topology if you want to be able uh, to apply these tools and to, to be able to distinguish like two surfaces, like two manifolds, topological spaces, that they're the same or not. So in order like, to show this, uh, how to distinguish like big ones, let's first draw small ones. Let's f first, uh, let's say, draw a circle, which is like just S1 and a line interval. And I want, what I want to say about this, I want to say that this uh, two like uh, spaces, like this is two objects, are not the same. So I want to show that they are not homeomorphic. And what does it mean homeomorphic? It means like there exists a mapping between two spaces. And this mapping you can think about that you can take one space and you want to deform it. You're not allowed to break it. You're not allowed to cut it and reattach. The only uh, like uh, transformations that you can do, you can squeeze it, you can make it smaller, bigger. And you can see if I will take the circle and will try to rotate, I will never make the circle uh, to be aligned. 
But you will ask, there is one way, because I can have, I can take my circle and just make it smaller, smaller, and smaller. So I kind of uh, map my circle into unit interval. Yes. But being homeomorphic means every time you do the transformation, your transformation is bijective. So you, you never overlap your points. And if you understand what this bijective means, then like this map must be bijective. So we want to study some maps. And these maps uh, require some space. So topology is the first thing that we study in topology. We study topological space. So topological space, we just introduce like an abstract mathematical space. And for this space, we're going to have, we want, uh, def uh, like on this space, we want to define such mappings. But if you want to define mappings with certain properties, we want to discuss after topological space what is continuous map. After we're going to discuss continuous maps, uh, the next thing we want to discuss homeomorphism. And when we have our homeomorphism, so we're saying that this two space is not homeomorphic. So in terms of topology, it means if I will uh, have map f between S2 to uh, interval, then I'm saying that f is homeomorphism. If uh, I have two properties, first, f is bijective. Second one, f is continuous. And the third one, inverse of f is continuous. So by introducing this three concept on a, our, let's say, third video, you will be able to understand what, is, what does it mean to be homeomorphic. And let's show me the last thing. Let me show that these spaces are not homeomorphic. Uh, let's say the fourth thing that you want to study, we want to study connectedness. And for connectedness means that, uh, for example, circle and uh, unit interval is one connected. They have only one connected component. Why? Because you can see you cannot kind of separate your space into two disconnected components. And again, we're going to give definitions later. And the cool property about homeomorph uh, homeomorphism that some topological like structure, some topological feature of our space are going to be saved under homeomorphism. So if uh, this like two spaces are homeomorphic, it means like uh, if they're like connected, then you can see that when you map one space to another one, the another space must be connected. If one space is bounded, like or compact, another space also must be compact. So compact means like closed and bounded. But here you can see if I'm going to remove here one point, since f is bijective, I'm going to remove only one point on my unit interval. And let's say uh, that I'm not removing like boundary point. And I can do this because if I remove boundary points, I need to just remove another point. And then you can see that if there were homeomorphism between S2 and I, or in other words, if there were homeomorphic, then by removing one point under homeomorphism, they must have the same number of connected components. And you can see indeed, this circle can be transformed just into this unit interval. And it has a one connected component. But this interval, has two connected components. So it means these two spaces are not homeomorphic. And these are basic tools that, uh, that allow us to distinguish two spaces. But sometimes our spaces are really difficult. So in this case, we want to study uh, more advanced topology, which is called algebraic topology, where we're going to use algebraic structures, which are like fundamental groups, homology, cohomology groups. Yeah, so this is was like a small introduction to topology. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video and not subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and let me know what do you think and if you want me to continue the series. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.